Hi, Emmett. Joe said to give this to you. Joe's near as old as me. Can't believe he's still racing. He said this clears his debt? Close enough. He doesn't win many races these days. 14th place doesn't award a lot of prize money. So he won't need to retire? Soon, but not today. This wipes the slate for me. I'll fix up his hova when he comes in again. That's good, I guess. See you later, Emmett. Will Joe keep racing? I guess that's up to him. I found out more about Cora. It's very confusing. Hold on to it for now. I've got something I've got to do. <gasps> Another job? No. If you're about to give me a headache worth of data, I need a coffee first.
entirely new and perfect. Here a minute. I'm busy. Wait, I, I just want to talk. You're not from around here, I can tell. Because of my dark, exotic eyes, right? Give me a break. No, because you obviously don't realize who I am. When someone around here gets my attention, they're flattered. You're right. I don't know who you are. Let me finish my coffee in peace, please. I'm Dynamite Simpson. Even if you haven't heard of me, you'll have heard one of my music projects for sure. If you say so. Look, I'm in need of some authentic Eastern fashions for my next music video. I see that embroidery on your sleeve. Eastern Peninsula, right? You're a music video director? I'm a record exec, video director, entrepreneur, guitar player, social media hub, brand construction technician. And you want my sleeve? Not exactly. I'd like to use the floral design in the background for my next music video. Much as your cultural appropriation of my favorite cardigan sounds tempting. Tell me a little more about your people. I really don't feel like it. I bet your people enjoy my music, even there, beyond the city. I don't think we do. Ah, perhaps playing my music requires technology beyond your means. We're not savages, we're farmers, and we have our own music. Your own music, your own fashion? How novel, I must learn more. How could I learn about your people's music? Did you grow up playing tribal drums? What? I grew up playing Bach. So you're a musician? Not anymore. Shooting begins in five minutes. I'll learn more about your music, but for now, can I take a photo of that design? If you pay me. Perhaps, if you tell me more, what does the pattern mean? It's a catapult. For my people, it's a gift mothers give their daughters to protect them. From? Predatory men. Really? This'll be perfect in Dolly's next video. I have one in my pocket. I brought it from home. It's dried. Really? Might I have it? Show me the limbs. Here, take them. You would really allow me to have this. Sell your cultural gift from your mother? Sure, I gotta eat. Excellent. I think this'll look fantastic in Dolly's hair in the music video. Pleasure doing business with you. I must go, but we might speak again. Goodbye. Oh no! Your mother's flower. You gave it away. Mom didn't give that to me. I found it growing near a sewage plant. I used it as a bookmark. Does it really protect women from predatory men? It's just a dead flower, Camus.
Um, hey, you okay? Yes, yes, I'll, I'll be fine. I just need to rest for a moment. <laughs> Maybe some food. Are you from the Eastern Peninsula? No, from the steppes. My name's Haldo. I'm, uh, was a dentist. Rania, driver. So what went wrong? Everything. Hypergentrified rent closed my office, a debt corp took my augments. The wounds didn't heal. I was in pain. I started with Jews and worked my way up the periodic table of painkillers till I got here. So now I could barely see. Take some money for food. Thank you, Rania. Your people are always decent. You know, uh, I always wanted to see the Eastern Peninsula one day. Maybe you will. <laughs> what a lovely smile you have when you tell a kind lie, Rania. I saw you looking at me from over there. I was just going to ask if this was the only coffee place in the zone. I'm from out of town, and this coffee is... Like hova oil? Well, I was going to say it's below average, but yeah. No, this is the only place. I've been coming here since I was in my teens. You look like you're still in your teens. It's the coffee. It's done in my growth. So, you're actually... 75. Well, Grandpa, it was nice to meet you. Uh, hey, uh, wait up. What's your name? I'm Rania. I drive deliveries. And I've got another job coming up, so... Do you... uh, want to do something? Are you asking me on a date? No. I mean, all right, we could just do something and see what happens. Do something. How specific? Uh, we could... Come on, coffee guy. What could we do? Bowling. Ew. Shooting? I know a range downtown. It lets you fire the big pulse rifles. I don't like pulse rifles or any guns, really. They tend to get aimed at people a lot. They only shoot targets. I believe the humans and the targets can coexist peacefully. Uh, what about pizza? Better. What kind? Artichoke and Avo from the new hipster place uptown. Ooh, a swing and a miss. Sorry, coffee guy. Maybe some other time. If I see you here again, I'll have thought of something you like, Rania. We'll see. Welcome to Neo's Neo Cafe. I'm Neo. What can I get you? Good. Thanks for this, Neo. Have a spectacular day. Hello. Is that you? Camus, why are you calling me on the comm? I'm on a coffee break here. I have a reason. Is the reason that you don't like being alone? Yes. That is it. Is it okay? It's fine. I'm glad of the company. Why do you need the coffee? I've never worked night shift before, Camus. Coffee creates the illusion that I'm actually still awake. You wouldn't understand. You don't sleep. I sleep. I guess you go offline and recompile your source code. That's a bit like sleeping. I sleep. Okay, I heard you. Tell me what you found out about Cora. I found three different types of things about... Camus, this data analysis and retrieval, it's not that you can't do it, it's just it's a bit... dry. Why don't we let the generic automata take care of this part? You can go offline for a bit. Sleep! Sure. Custom personality Camus offline. Generic automata reinstated. All right, Mr. Personality. Tell me what we know about Cora now. Three distinct data points of origin for Cora. Two, deprecated and accessible only via the underweb. 
Warning, your automata was detected accessing this information and your identity was compromised. Shit. Well, too late to do anything about it now. Tell me what you found. Give me the official data first. Cora is a term colloquially used by citizens of Nivalis to refer to the combination of AI and mechanical systems, which manage the logistical and maintenance systems operating throughout the city. I knew that much. Go on. As an anthropomorphism of a mercurial personality, it is unclear if Cora exhibits a form of sentience or sapience. Best data suggests Cora is fundamentally inconceivable by human intelligence, existing just beyond the event horizon of biological minds. Not helpful at all. Why do people keep talking about Cora then? Day-to-day -day usage of Cora in conversation invokes the term in the same way one might talk about fate, luck, or serendipity. Example? I checked my balance and I'm all out of credits. Cora knows where it all went. There are two more data points for Cora? Yes, one from City Archive in a defunct data pool called the Internet. Another from a paper-based text called The Exegesis, a pseudo-historical book scanned and OCR'd 109,572.75 days ago. Read me the extract of the exit whatever. Reigning atop a hierarchy of smaller automatons, VIs, androids, and machines, Cora is the last of the 12 founders. Complex AIs that formed an advisory council for the human rulers of the city. Why did the founders fail? Did their source code encounter insurmountable logical errors? Or, worst of all, did the founders choose to abandon humanity? And if so, will Cora soon make that same choice? What's your confidence rating on the accuracy of this information? 11.40%. Higher than I thought. Does everyone in the city know this stuff but me? Cora is commonly discussed, appearing in up to 0.8% of all communication, but little substantive, verifiable data exists as to its nature. Read me the last data, the one from the internet. Cora, Computer Operated Recycling Agent. That's it? I don't know how this relates to hackers or AI. No further data available. Make a copy of that exegesis thing to local storage, encrypted. If I get a data violation, I don't want to lose access. And bring Camus back online. Activating custom automata personality, Camus. Did you find out about Cora? More or less. I don't know what I was hoping for. Will you get food too? Not hungry. Hey, Camus, have a look at the cafe menu. Do you see all the different types? If you drank coffee, what type would you order? Uh, donut coffee? That's not really... Oh, no. I said something dumb. Actually, Camus, I think donut coffee sounds pretty great. Excuse me, I see you sell old stuff. Do you know what this is? Pass it here. Let's see. Hmm. Oh my. What is it? I thought maybe an old music storage. Music? No, not at all. This is a game. An old one at that. Where did you find it? Actually, it was near some trash. No, I don't believe it. So it's an antique. Oh yes. This was played on a Spectrum home computer. 48K. You needed an interface to make the joystick work. Kempstern or Protec. Otherwise, you had to play on the rubber keys. Even the words I understood in that sentence didn't make sense. It's like this, you see. You put this tape into a tape recorder first and... Nope, still no clue. Long ago, information was stored on magnetic tapes. You see the strips here? These wound round playheads or something like that. No one knows exactly how it operated now, but we can feed this into our comprehender and it gives us executable code. So, this was a game people played on a screen? Oh yes, it would take a long time to upload the data to memory. And the executable data itself is tiny. It's hard to comprehend how our progenitors managed to work within such strict memory constraints. You're really into this stuff, aren't you? I'm interested in the technology, sure. But what really fascinates me is this game. You controlled a little sprite. You walked along a street and you punched everyone you came across. 
We believe these old games were deeply symbolic, like Sisyphus with the rock. So they were morality lessons? We collectors believe so. I think every one of these classic games can teach us a lesson. What did punching people in the street teach us? Metaphorically, it is telling us that we cannot simply fight urban decay through physical force. You see, in this game, when you win, you start again. So the cycle repeats. Exactly. So through the game, we learn that the violence is entertainment, but the creator of the game seeks to tell us that violence is also pointless. These old games were pretty deep. How did this end up lying on the street? There's plenty of other street vendors who are collectors like me. One of them, Old Sinclair, he died last week. And you're not really allowed to own this stuff. If Corpsec catches you... Oh, I'm sorry about Mr. Sinclair. He was in the zone that fell into the sea last month. Can't be helped. You should keep your eye out for more of these. They may be scattered all over the city. You'll pay me for them? I sure will, as long as you keep it quiet. In fact, I can even show you this one if you like. It has a two-player mode. We can punch people in the street together. Maybe another time. Just the limbs are fine. Celebrity Automata Personality Force for sale. Driver 14FC, are you out of your hava? I was on a break. There are no breaks for me or for you. Have you seen the vids? No, why? More accidents in Sector 21. No, uh, Sector 23. Or is it 21? Bombings? Not sure. This is bad for us. We've lost more drivers this week than in the past year. Everything okay, Control? I don't know, kid. I don't know. What's your real name? I'm tired of numbers. Rania. I'm gonna look out for you, Rania. Things will get better after tonight. I promise. We just need to get through this one night. What's your name, Control? I'm not supposed to say. Goddamn. Is something going wrong over there? You sound... It's all wrong here. I just... Maybe I'll tell you after this job. Okay. What you got for me? In Gallows Row, there's an old escalator called the Ascension. Someone at the base wants to surrender a package of their belongings. Where does the escalator go? Trust me, Rania. This job will be much easier for you if you don't ask that question again. You're looking for a guy named Gil. Oh, and one more thing. Yeah? Enjoy your coffee. All I got is a bottle of sake stashed in my desk drawer. And tonight, I'm having a drink. If they're not happy with that, they can fucking fire me. Cheers. Fasciatic control. Here's what I can offer you today.
Thanks. I look forward to seeing you again. You got a minute? Who doesn't have a minute? It's uh, less than 60 seconds. Near enough, right? <laughs> uh, Jimmy is the name. Jimmy, roll high. 
I don't really have a minute. You're uh, wondering about the hands, right? You gotta know, everyone does. <laughs> they, they always ask me about the hands. I always say the same thing, I, I do. I always say, if the shuffle wasn't working, they wouldn't have needed to break them. I'm right, right? Were you cheating at cards? Roll high. Wasn't I clear before when I says my name? <laughs> sure I was, you was listening. You're a clever lady. I got in trouble because I could roll double sixes every single time. Really? Near enough. Near enough that they broke my hand for it. Then when I learned with the other, they broke that too. Now, if I could just get some limbs for augments, I know I could make the money back for you at the table. I'm not interested. Sorry. You'll be back. They always come back. I got the skills, lady. <laughs> You're gonna invest in them one day. I'm telling you. One slice, please. Oh, wait, are those real cherries? Well, they ain't holograms, lady. Yeah, but where would you get real cherries in Navalis? Lots of places. Oh, orchards up in the spire, growing beds down in the vents, uh, one of those labs that grow cultured retro fruit. I'm not talking hypothetically here. Where did you get those cherries? Wherever you like, lady. I find the best way to enjoy the flavor comes from tasting with your imagination. And I find the best way to avoid food poisoning is to know where my cherries come from. I swear, these taste exactly like cherries. That is not a normal thing to say about actual cherries. You want a slice or not? Yes. N no. I can't decide. Have you even tasted real cherries before? Back home, they were my favorite. The Eastern Peninsula? Yeah. Well, you'll love this pie. A genuine slice of home. What do you say? No, actually I'm good. Suit yourself, country girl. Delivery person? Rania, yeah, I'm to take your package. It's everything. The limbs, com, holocrons, augments. Everything I own. Make sure my family gets it. Just drop it in the post. I can't leave the queue or I'll lose my place. Are you sure about this? Yeah. A chance to see the spire. I, I gotta take the shot. I get to go above the clouds. Is it safe? Sure, yeah, of course. Okay then, good luck, I guess. Hey, thanks. Maybe I'll see you around. Maybe. Hey, Rania, you met that guy going on the Ascension? Is he really going through with it? He says the Ascension takes him to the Spire. It sure does. And no further. What do you mean? It's an escalator to nowhere. It just ends. Then what? 
Well, then he falls a few miles down into the sea. Who would build an escalator that goes nowhere? You think everything in the city is logical? Look around, Rania. None of this makes sense. The city AI has gone mad. He said it was safe. Before he gave you all his possessions? He knew? He knew. I don't get it. You lived outside Navalis, right? So you've, you've seen the sky. You've got that memory. I've never seen the sky. I can live without it. But imagine you'd seen it just once. What would you do to see it again? <sighs> How's the sake control? You don't drink, right? You should try it sometime, Rania. When things are going wrong, it's a great way to keep yourself trapped in the long right now. Are you a poet now, Control? You know it. What should I do with his possessions? Well, he stiffed us on the bill. His payment was rejected. So if you got anything from him, you should return it to a Cloudpunk delivery chute nearby to cover his debt. What about his family? Let me make this as clear as I can, Rania. I don't know if he gave you something or if he gave you nothing. But I knew if he gave you something, I'd have to tell you to return it to Cloudpunk HQ. Control out. Uh-huh. He sounded... different. Are we going to take Gil's things back to Cloudpunk HQ? Well, everything's packaged and postmarked. So, if we drop them at the mail office, they'd get back to his family and Cloudpunk would never know. But maybe it would be good for us to give it to Cloudpunk? And if we broke the rules, we could get in trouble. Or get Mr. Control in trouble. Quiet for now, Chemis. I have to think. Hey, are you interested in having your photo taken with this magnificent creature? Just 100 limbs. No. Wouldn't you like to know his name? He is Norman. Hi, Norman. Is he a real bird? Norman isn't a bird. He's a falcon. A real one? Well, he's not a hologram. But is he a real falcon or is he artificial? Ah, I understand your question now. Uh, you must think this is based on an animal. This is not. It is a unique creation. A falcon. I've seen falcons before. No, you must be mistaken. Perhaps you have seen a sparrow. They are very similar. You see, I specialize in chimeras. What are chimeras? Well, you know, there's a huge market for artificial animals, especially those that are rare or extinct. Chimeras are different. They are artificial animals which uh, never existed, created from the imagination of man. But I told you I've seen a real falcon. Eh? Where? Well, they're extinct now, I guess, but I saw them all the time when I was young. I'm from the Eastern Peninsula. They would circle around the farm in the summer, uh, until the big dust storms hit back in the Year of the Dragon. Listen, lady, I need you to do me a favor. Uh, okay. What? Please leave, and don't tell anyone that there are real falcons, huh? Sure, but why does it make any difference? When people know they're looking at something that once existed instead of something that never could, they get depressed. And sad people don't spend money.
the East Lady? You're good, but no corpse sack. Got it? Thanks. You folks from the East are good with me, but no sex. Class is filled with all the mackerel and micronutrients you'd find in the body of a 20-year-old athlete. Blood Plus Vitality. Blood Plus Energy. Blood Plus You. 